I've got a power user tool for you today, a download application that I'm going to recommend. I'm trying to do more app spotlights. And the creator, assuming I get this up in time, as there's only a couple days left from December 31st, or 1st to the 31st, and I'm only just finding out about it now. But the user, or the creator, Reddit user, N-A-M-I-G-O-P, Namigop, is seems to be the creator and is giving it away for free. Now it says you have to email a screenshot in order to claim the license, but if you download right now where it says with the free license, you actually get it 100% free without having to do anything at all, although it's fairly cheap regardless, like $3 and $6, not too bad. But it is a download manager tool that I'm actually a pretty big fan of at the moment. Now this isn't like Internet Download Manager or J Downloader, it serves a slightly different purpose. This was created with the open directories subreddit community in mind. It's basically kind of like a GUI for wget. The UI is fairly straightforward. You open up and you're greeted if you've already downloaded certain things with a current downloads list, which for me is already jam packed and everything should be completed. Then you have a few options. So we'll go into config first, set a download folder. I just created a dedicated um, download path for the Felly Star app. Uh, you have FTP login options. You have a Reddit username and password in case, in case you want to use specific Reddits. Uh, general credentials for a proxy. And then you can set up favorite URLs to download from. Now there is the file finder version, which you can set up websites and it will try to find files you can download from. You hit, you put in the URL and hit enter or click the little explore this URL. So I'm going to pause it, explore this URL. It's loading. There is a ton of stuff you can pull from this website, none of which are necessarily what you want, but it, you know, it finds all the different assets on the website and then tells you whether or not you can actually download them. You see a list of warnings down here at the bottom as far as what it can or cannot access, but that's not really what it's meant for. And while it, you could probably figure this out, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to cancel this. It, it's meant for open directories, which are sites you can access on the internet that have are basically just an open directory of files that you can download. And it directly integrates with that subreddit here. Okay, so if we choose a listing here and pop into a, a listing from the subreddit here, uh, we can pick up, I know this one works, old MS-DOS games, click the little pointer icon here, and it will start to, you know, scan the site for files. And it does have different categories you can sort by. That doesn't seem to work just yet. Uh, but basically, for open directories, for the most part, you generally are going to want everything anyway. So this is just a bunch of MS-DOS games. So what you would do is click download everything or either choose the specific files you want to download and tell it to download them. It will download them. Speed tends to be pretty fast depending on where you're downloading from. And those files are now in your download folder. And same thing if you have a specific open directory you want to scan. For example, this is a giant directory of GIFs of the Hawaiian so sky or sunset. I'm going to tell it to scan that directory. Boom. I'll just go ahead and download one of these and it will start downloading. And then in my downloads folder under Fella Star, I have all the stuff I have downloaded from them recently or, you know, through the program recently. So here's that GIF file. We're gonna open it up in Chrome and boom. Why a night sky, sunrise, something like that. So this is just a little download community based downloader program. I wanted to show you if you get it in the next couple days, it will be free to download. I'm not sponsored by this or anything. It was just a cool tool that I wanted to share. If you wanna see more videos like this, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. And I will catch you in the next one. I have lots of programs I could recommend if you'd want to see them.